Yes, yes, boys, I am here to talk about the Wicked Bloodline team on Dokken today. So, you know, if you do like these Dokken discussions, a little bit of a showcase on the side, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a bit of that like button as well. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So I'm just going to have me playing the game in the background while I do talk, but... This video is mainly going to be about the Wicked Bloodline and why I'm not disappointed about them, but there's definitely some things that need to change with them. Now, the first thing I can say is it's not like the Wicked Bloodline has been getting neglected. You know, the Wicked Bloodline team is a good team. You know, I'm not going to slow. Wicked Bloodline is not exactly a team, but the units are very good. And the reason is, is I can show you this right here. So as you can see this, all of these units are wicked bloodline units as you can see you know there's all freezer family you know cooler freezer all of that good stuff they're all wicked bloodline but what some of you may know let me know if you got this straight away we're not running the wicked bloodline team this is a wicked bloodline team but it's not a wicked bloodline team mainly because our leader is strength cooler and he himself kind of destroyed the wicked bloodline team if that makes sense because he is terrifying conquerors and transformation boost i don't know if you can see it there that small and honestly that's not a problem but it kind of just ruins the identity of wicked bloodline and what i mean by that is the wicked bloodline as a concept when it first came out and you ogs well you don't have to be that og to remember but agl metal cooler was insane like he looked amazing he came with the wicked bloodline tag and honestly it was a pretty nice team you know the team was doing some okay stuff it wasn't broken by any means but it was a really nice team and you know some of us like the actual wicked bloodline category because you know it's different it's niche it's a bit unique it's like i don't know how you would put it in these terms now i mean it, there are those categories in Darken that nobody ever really runs. It's like other world warriors. Could be, I mean, people run Connected Hopes now. It could be something like Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3. You know, those teams. Namekians. Like, you know, the teams that nobody runs. Those type of teams. Dragon Ball Seekers. Sometimes it's nice to run those teams. Because not everybody wants to run Kamehameha or Rep 7 every single day. And, you know, I was one of those people that loved running, like, Wicked Bloodline when it first came out. And I, you know, couldn't wait for them to get some more support. And technically, they did get the best card they could have at the time, which was Strength Cooler. Because Strength Cooler was ridiculous for his time. Like, his leader skill for Transformation Boost and Terrifying Conquerors is broken as hell at the time, especially. But it took away the identity that the Wicked Bloodline team had because first of all, Strength Cooler is miles better than AGL Metal Cooler. Metal Cooler has a bit of link problems. His name's a bit weird. It should have been like Metal Cooler Giant or something like that. So it stopped you from running the AGL Metal Cooler with the Int Metal Cooler, you know, the one with the good support that got an ECA. So what happened was is that your Wicked Bloodline team was now no longer a Wicked Bloodline team. Your Wicked Bloodline team was just a generic transformation boost team. And if honestly, if I wasn't running this to be a proper Wicked Bloodline team, I would replace this guy instantly, give put like physical kid booth some support. And I would replace this guy with, you know, there's, there's better units from Terrifying Conquerors and Transformation Boost. But this is the Wicked Bloodline pork, so I thought I'd rather run him. And Honestly, Docker need to be giving these unique teams some buffs because let's be honest, the 200% leader skills is the perfect way of giving these lesser used teams, you know, more, you know, speciality, I would say, because we all know that Dokken can now do many things with this extra 200% leader skills because you've already seen it. I mean, it's helped the Ginyu Force out a lot. Uh, it's helped a bit of pure saints as well. Although a lot of pure saints have been getting buffs, I would like to see something helping the Wicked Bloodline very soon. Probably not for the Part Two LR for JP because that's Saiyan Saga related, I do think. But something could definitely come about because honestly, I kind of feel sorry for the whole 
most malevolent clan or wicked bloodline, whatever you want to call it, it's actual like premise because yes, this full power freezer is broken beyond belief, but nothing else really stands a chance. I mean, with the new meta being the red zone, I feel like every team now needs to be transformed a little bit. Like that can really need to help out many teams in that aspect because there aren't that many units from the Wicked Bloodline that can take the red zone now. So even if like most Malevolent or Wicked Bloodline, sorry, got a new team, there's not much they could do. Honestly, there's not really much they could do because I've even heard from Truth. I did watch a bit of Truth videos and he said even this boy right here can't survive in the red zone, especially since all the red zone are extreme and he misses out on his part of his passive for that extra buff, you know? So the fact that he's missing some of his passive on that is a bit like, you know, is not making me too happy. It's not making me too happy. And obviously Frieza and Cooler, they're fan favorites, you know, they're not people that would get pushed to the wayside. And yeah, Universe, I think maybe we're going to see a transformation boost with an extra 30% of the, uh, the Wicked Bloodline. I think that's the easiest way to do things. I think after two leader skills now from Ginyu and Raditz, the 30% cannot be tied to space traveling warriors. I think space traveling warriors need to chill out a bit. I love space traveling warriors, but you know, you, there's, you're in the limelight like two times in a row. That's a bit, you know, that's a bit too quick to get another buff. But yeah, honestly, let me know what you think. What would you love to see? I mean, the options pretty much are going to be, I mean, let's be, let's be honest. It's going to be either a final form cooler which, you know, we have been needing one for quite a long time. And if you have noticed as well, it took, there were two units that took ages to get a new unit. It was Cooler, Final Form, you know, or Cooler in general. And then there is also Kid Boo. Now, Kid Boo's latest unit at the time was only the Extreme Int one. And that one got an easy A and you know, that one had been out for like three, four years. And the difference in time between the Extreme Int Kid Buu and the Extreme Strength Kid Buu, that was quite a long time. And honestly, I think the time has come for a new cooler, but not just a new cooler, because we could also be getting a metal cooler instead. And honestly, if it's a metal cooler or a final form cooler, I would be extremely happy. Now, the, the best way they could honestly do it would be a new final form cooler and maybe the easy a of the extreme agl cooler that could definitely be the better way of doing things especially since now we have seen what they can do with turles the fact that turles is that broken honestly i'm excited for the new easy a's coming out now well actually the way they're doing new units now I'm a, I don't really know what to say after what happened with Raditz I'm not going to really talk too much about Raditz because you know that still breaks my heart but honestly I could see it definitely being a final form cooler now if they did want to go the metal cooler route that could definitely help out a lot as well but his links are very bad depending on how they're going to do him his links really do suffer so I don't know how they're going to do with that situation. Other than that though, I feel like all of Freezer's forms have mainly been covered. The only Freezer form himself that is lacking a proper good Dokken card now would be just the final form Freezer. You know, just you know, the first one that started to uh, fight Goku. Although, maybe that could be saved for an LR down the line. Maybe we could get like a final form Freezer into Golden Freezer. Or we could be looking at maybe, oh, we might as well transform. Or we could be looking at a final form freezer into full power freezer. So full power or golden, there's two different options they can do. After that, the whole freezer lineup has kind of been rinsed out, I would say. You know, for now anyways, you know, we're always going to get, you know, some more coming out. There's so much they could do. But yeah, Wicked Bloodline is definitely on the map, I think, because Honestly, the units are a fan favorite after because honestly, it's either going to be this or I thought androids may have been the ones to get the buffs to come through. But the Wicked Bloodline does need some help. I mean, especially it's the defensive department now that matters the most, I think, especially when it comes to like red zone units. Because if they brought out any new unit in general, I'm talking like 
if they brought out just the next dock compressor or the next LR. If they can't tank, they are literally useless. Literally useless. Like, there's no ways about it because nobody wants to spend Dragonstones for a unit that you're going to use just to clear dock and events. Like, you know, the dock and these days, I hate to say it, but defense is king now i used to you know i didn't want to i didn't want the game to be like this but that's kind of the way it is i would have hoped that dockham would have rather have gone the route of maybe you need more power so maybe i don't know you would need to kill an enemy before the countdown ends and you die you know, you know it's kind of like the omega shen one from the red zone but with him doing less damage but having more hp so you have to kill him quickly that would be a less defense stacking, defensive meta, more, you know, I need to do big damage, especially if items are kind of disabled, you wouldn't go for a nuking item. So that could be pretty interesting, but yeah, the way it goes now, Docker needs turn or slot one units. If they make a unit slot one, it's going to be perfect. Like if you could tank slot one, brilliant, brilliant. But Docker's not doing that. Docker's really, Docker's addicted to making units tank after super and that's like always slot two and that's really hurting i mean you see truth doing full dodge on unit just so they can survive in the slot one and Dokken shouldn't really be doing that so honestly for this wicked bloodline this boy gotta get an easy a i do hope or if we just get a, an entirely new one to replace him honestly because look at his links like his links are okay yes he does have the big bad bosses but everything else like so the team needs weird, like Transform's not going to really happen. Transform's for Giants, unless, you know, no one cares about Giants. Like Giants will always be a trash team, unless they somehow make the Giant forms link up with each other and do more damage, because it's not like it would ruin the game. But, and that just hurts him a lot. And especially Auto Regeneration, again, only Metal Coolers and Metal Wildo has this link. So, that's why we probably do need a new one, because if, if I do check, and I checked through Acquired, I did get majority of the ones that ever came out. Some of these guys just aren't going to cut it anymore. Like, this guy was, was pretty strong when he first came out, but this was pre-Red Zone, pre-super, super difficult content. And you may think he still has a chance, but he cannot stack fast enough. This guy's defense is too weak early on. And yes, transforming, you get some damage reduction. But in my opinion, it's just not enough. It's just really not enough. Anyways, that is going to be it, guys. So let me know what you think about the Wicked Bloodline. Who do you want to see? Do you even care about the team? Or do you have another team in mind that you want to see get buffed up first? This is going to be kids. I'm bouncing out in a bit, dudes. See you on the next video.